in Cumberland County, I think our results over the last four years are truly showing that in fact, all kids can learn. You just have to put the systems in place. 92% of our schools made growth by North Carolina standard. It meant that our proficiency for the first time on all tests except for one were higher than the state average. We passed the Charlottes and all the other urban systems in our proficiencies. And when you look at our gap between our minority students and a majority student, it's the lowest in the state. We have schools that prove the myth about poverty is wrong if in fact you focus on growth for every child. It's easy to stereotype school systems, but when you come into Cumberland County and you meet the people and you get to see the principals and the teachers and the interaction with kids, you don't see that a lot of places. And you know it's special and it's special because of the people. They care. So as a system, we just try to make kids understand that they have potential and that their mistakes can be forgiven and uh, we can make them successful. When you're talking about positive climate of a school, I can't quantify that necessarily, but I can only tell you it's a feel. I think even as a, as a parent, when you walk into a school, that this is a good school, it's a welcoming school, people work together. People are happy to be here, kids want to be here. It's a feeling about the school. When you walk into a classroom, when you go into the district office, going to human resources, different divisions, people are here to help you. You'll see kids engaging the activities. It's not so much just what the teachers are doing, it's whether or not the kids are engaged. One thing that uh, I am most proud of of our school district uh, is absolutely collaboration. I think for a school district that um, has over 53,000 students, 49 schools, over 5,000 employees, to have overwhelmingly a sense of trust is very, very unique in all my experiences. What's happened in California over the last several years is over a 20% cut in funding to public education, and yet we seem to have shown tremendous results in our achievement with our students and closing the achievement gap. We became a data-driven organization that had singular focus on student achievement and student learning in the classroom. And we put in school reform measures that were based on what the principals and the teachers and the parents at the schools felt like they needed in order for their children to achieve. It's a tremendous challenge to make sure that when we offer a broad and challenging curriculum, that that is offered uniformly in a way that provides equity around the district without squashing the school's ability to have the instructional program the way they might see fit for their children as well. A focus for San Diego Unified is quality schools in every neighborhood. We believe that your zip code or your financial status should not determine the quality of education. And we broadly define quality as something more than just test scores. Our mission is to ensure that every student graduates ready to make a positive difference in the world. We talk about students being actively literate, contributing, participating members of society who make a positive difference in the world. Some of the challenges that our kids have to face in Houston start with poverty. Uh, we have 80% of our kids on free and reduced lunch. Uh, we know we have to overcome that. People that would say a child's personal family community circumstances uh, play the largest role in their education, uh, I'd say to them, we can't control that. Let me tell you what we can control. We can control the quality of the teacher in the classroom. We can control the learning environment. We can control the academic rigor. We can control the expectations. We all know that the road to prosperity from poverty runs right through the public schoolhouse door. We know that. And in urban education, we know it better than most. We don't look out the window to try to find blame and cause we look inside the schoolhouse. We ask ourselves, do we have enough tutoring? We ask ourselves, are the lessons engaging enough? Do we have the type of structure in place to provide these kids uh, the type of enforcement and support they need? 
we ask ourselves a, a lot of questions about us, not about them. We can't control them, but I can promise you this, if we focus enough on them and on us, we can help change their lives forever.